So we are on the Crossbar uh, Special Recreation Management Area. Um, currently at our, at our specific location, we're right above West Emerald Creek on the West Emerald Creek Trail. The government acquired to purchase the Crossbar back in the early 30s. Um, it, was, it was purchased for the, uh, the purposes of helium production. Back in 1996, the BLM took over the operations of helium and the crossbar. Moving forward, we want to develop this property into a recreation site. Um, we've had several public meetings, we've done a lot of public outreach, and uh, what we've heard from the community is that's what they want. Opportunities for outdoor adventures like hiking, mountain biking, horseback riding, camping, hunting, those type of things. To date, we have about 14 miles constructed. Um, we anticipate building up to 40 miles of trails for the multiple uses for non-motorized use, you know, equestrian, mountain biking, and hiking. The community support has been tremendous. That's, that's the biggest thing we need, and it's not lacking. Um, funding is always an issue. You know, the BLM and our supporters locally, we're always looking for funding mechanisms to help move us forward in this development. Uh, so, you know, while we're making progress, we're, it's definitely not as fast as everybody wants it to be, but we are moving forward and we do see an end in sight. Moab, Utah is called the mountain bike capital of the world. And we get this open, some have said this will be the mountain bike capital of the world. Once it's developed, it would produce 13 million for this area. It would help get people off of I-40. I understand 80,000 vehicles a day are going through Amarillo. We're trying to stop them. Stay in hotels and go to restaurants. You know, I, I want to do something positive for the community and what I know to do, and that's wildlife conservation, outdoor recreation. Um, I never really knew that I was gonna you know, as a kid or, or in my young adult life, I never really knew I would be building hiking trails. Uh, but I've learned to love it. It's something I really enjoy doing. Um, I love nature. I think everybody should. That's, that's where we ultimately connect as a species with not only amongst ourselves, but amongst other species. Um, and, uh, you know, I just really want to help the community and, and do this. And luckily the, the BLM and the city of Amarillo, Potter County, They've afforded me and all of our volunteers an opportunity to do that.